Hey guys, Kevin here from Opera Reefs, and uh, as you can see, it is the 21st, as you can probably tell from up there on my clock. Um, every 21st, as you guys know by now probably, I make a new fish tank update on what's going on in my tank at least once a month, just so you guys get the idea of what's going on. Um, I know you guys are probably looking at this right now going like, nothing's changed but the layout again. Um, yes, I did change out the rock and the way it's all laid out and everything like that. Um, there is something new though about my Sabay Clownfish. It has been acting up lately. Uh, he striked at my small clownfish, the Nemo Clown, as I said I was going to be calling them from now on, that name. Um, he's been striking at this small clownfish, and uh, recently, it's sad to say that you guys can't see him today, but um, my last green chromis died today, and the I couldn't be able to show that to you guys today because it was before I made this video. I had I've bought three green chromises from the uh, Aqua Hut here in Quorum, and I put them in the tank here, and uh, they've been doing really good, and you know whatnot. And then all of a sudden, one day I wake up, the next day I wake up rather, one green chromis is down, and I'm like. Oh, what's going on here? And then I see that the reason why the first one died is because the Sabe attacked the second one, and I was like, hmm, that's the reason why. So I was gambling a little bit. I was like, oh, I'm going to bring back this green chromis today, and uh, I never really got the chance to do so because the Sabe strike before I can take an action to get my Sabe out of there because I'm actually trading in my Sabe and. Hopefully I can get some money back or something like that. Um, I'm going to trade him in and I'm going to get a yellow tang instead. I prefer yellow tangs much more. Um, they're def the depth of the yellow. I like that color. You know, I figured I can add a little more yellow in here than orange, you know. But uh, everything has been going good in this tank otherwise, but the aggression has to stop in my opinion. I don't like fish that are aggressive. I know that my two Nemo clowns, they play, they chase each other, but I never see contact as far as biting or anything like that. So, um, pretty much, that's pretty much it. I have new plans too, as I said. Um, I think I might have said this in my first update video, but I did say that this wasn't going to be the biggest tank I was going to have. And I'm hoping in a couple of months, a year the latest I'll say, I'm hoping I'll have a 55 gallon tank right where my camera is standing and um, I'll show you guys what I'm going to be doing with that in a second. So let's get closer up to the tank here and let me show you what's going on. There's not much to look at besides, you know, my layout and, you know, admire it, whatnot, I don't care. And um, yeah, let's check it out. Alright guys, getting a little closer here to my fish tank so you guys can see what's going on. Like I said, there's not much going on um, ex besides the aggression of my Sabay Clownfish. Uh, he will every once in a while uh, nip at the uh, small clown, the small Nemo clown, as you can see right there. He's my smallest. I don't know if you guys can catch that, but he is definitely my smallest. But um, he does have minor scale damage because he... I did see him, in fact, get picked on by the Sabay Clownfish. He was dragged by the tail into one of the caves, and uh, I guess the Sabay kind of let go, or maybe he escaped, but I'd like to know if you would call that aggression or not. So, yeah, like I said, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, my Blackfish, who likes to chill out over here, hoping I, he can find a spot behind there. I, I built a cave, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, my Blackfish, though, is doing really well. I feed him brine shrimp. And sometimes even people shrimp if I had that left over in my refrigerator. They love it. Even my other guys love it. Um, it's it's definitely a good source to uh, feed your fish, especially blackfish. You know they like that stuff, crustaceans and sh uh, shrimp. So uh, pretty much, if you guys ever catch a blackfish or get a blackfish from anywhere, I don't know where you can actually buy them, but I caught mine from marine science class on the field trip. Like I probably told you in my second video when I had them. And uh, I've been feeding him crustaceans and stuff like that, like what my marine science teacher told me I should be feeding him, and he loves it. But uh, you cannot put ornamental shrimp in your tank anymore once when you put a blackfish in your tank because that's just like putting like fish food in the tank. You know, he'll snap at that very easily, most likely right away. The second I put in brine shrimp, 
he'll go after it. He's always hungry. He'll always pack a snack in there somewhere. <laughs> All right, well, let's get over here, like I said. Um, this is the cave where I'm hoping the blackfish finds, you know, I just put this set up, this layout out, uh, today, so, you know, they're still getting used to it and whatnot. The tank cleared up pretty quick, um, thanks to that, uh, aqua clear filter I have over there. Um, it does, really does the job well, it's a very quiet filter, and, um, this is pretty much all I have for right now, but otherwise there's no aggression besides, besides the, uh, Sabay clownfish chasing everyone, uh, grabbing my small clownfish by the tail, and he, uh, killed my three green chromises that I bought from Aqua Hut and Quorum. Um, by the way, if any of you guys live on Long Island, New York, I definitely suggest going to, uh, Aqua Hut and Quorum. Uh... Their fish are very well taken care of, but yes, I know, you walk in there and you see some fish that are beaten up a little bit, but that's pretty much in every pet shop I see. But otherwise, they are very well taken care of there, the fish. Um, they have good deals. Uh, I bought those green chromosis, 3 for 1250 So pretty much that's $12.50 out of my pocket. That's just blown to waste, but... You know, what do you expect? But that that was a pretty good deal for three green chromosis. I do know it probably would have been a little more expensive if I didn't get that deal from the guy. Uh, as you can see, there's my blackfish. Try to get as much footage from of the blackfish as I can as possible because he loves the rock and you can't really see him well. But, uh, yeah, like I said, this is it, guys. Nothing going on right now. Um, I'm going to now show you guys where I'm going to plan to put my 55 gallon tank and what I plan to do with the tank in the future so uh... stick around be right back alright guys I'm back and um... this is where I'm gonna put my 55 gallon tank um... it's gonna look really nice I measured it it's gonna fit here perfectly you know length width height whatever it's all gonna work out and uh... I'm hoping to get it, like I said, within like, I don't know, three, four months. A year the latest, which I doubt that's going to happen. I should have it before <laughs> the end of this year for sure. Um, you know, I have to start making money. <laughs> Alright, but uh, all these guys are going to go into my 55-gallon tank. And uh, I was going to go with a Predator tank for my 55-gallon, but I'm like, eh, you know what? It's not really the uh, best size tank to put Predator fish in. You know, you can do it because they'll go to the size of your tank, but eh, it's better off just going community from where I'm at right now. This is what I started with. I might as well take it on and keep going with what I'm with. So I'm hoping my 55 gallon will be a reef tank, and I'm going to start looking into that and uh, start studying what you need to do and whatnot to take care of reef tanks and stuff. Um, if you guys have any experience with reef tanks, feel free to comment. Um, I'd love advice for, uh, taking care of reef tanks, so I'll be sure to save any good advice for my, for the future, and I'll probably use some of your advice, so, this is it for now, just wanted to show you guys where I was going to put my 55 gallon tank, just so you guys have an idea where I'll be filming and stuff like that, you know, it's going to look really nice having a 55 gallon tank in your bedroom, so, you know, it's going to be really cool, you know, just move that dresser over here, you know, I don't care, I just want to bigger tank. <laughs> Alright, so this is Kevin from Aqua Reefs, and catch you later.